All right, you ready? Excess. Perhaps not a word in your average American's vocabulary. What is excessive? Is the amount of calories in this drink and the amount of baby ducks over there and the size of my phone. <laughs> but what is perhaps alarming is the excessive amount of boat motors being mounted to boats. Today, we're gonna float around and find out. Oops, all 25 horsepower Yamaha outboard motors. <laughs> so the inspiration comes from this video from all these terrible photoshops. I mean, just look at this one. Oh wait, that's actually real. Oh, this one's real too. You know, I kind of like that configuration. I think we will try that. I really can't afford to buy real outboard engines. So I'm gonna go on eBay and look at RC outboard motors. Never mind. Designing some mini outboards shouldn't be so bad. We're just gonna take apart some drone motors, do some measuring, add some shafts to these electric brushless drone motors, 3D print some bits and pieces, and boom, here we go. We just need to redo this operation 11 more times. Now that we have all these motors, I think we should actually just test out a standard quad motor setup on this 3D printed center console boat I made. This is also printed out of plastic. If you guys want the STLs for this, they're down in the comments below. You just have to like and subscribe to get them. So here we have one of the completed 3D printed outboards that I designed. Let's test it. Wow, it looks so good. Well, we need to test out the first set of motors. They're wired up to a four-in-one speed controller, which basically controls the power to all the motors. So if this thing gets wet, it explodes and takes out all the motors with it. This Amazon part has a lot of one-star reviews. Please note that this board is for two to three cell batteries only. Do not even try for us. The board will be immediately releasing smoking and stop working. Let's do a quick test and make sure this works. Apply power first. So that's yeah. working. So now I need to plug power into the board. Okay, you ready? I didn't hear any beeps. Hmm, something's wired wrong. It turns out I wired it wrong. This is weird because I use my intuition to say, okay, this rail is all negatives. This rail is the signal. Nobody cares what any of that means, but basically I wired it wrong. Let's plug it in now. Hey, it made the noises. Yeah, boy, check it out. Alright, let's see how it does. I'm afraid to go too fast because it may strip these gears because this is a lot of power. Why are they boring? I don't know. I've always wondered that. <laughs> it's a safety orange. Yeah. <laughs> we need to get a quick baseline test. Well, slowly bring her up to speed. Pretty good. It sounds like one of them is like not delivering power. These ones got torque. Yep, so this one's out, and this one's out. Oh well, we almost got on plane. <laughs> yeah, we only got two motors right now, so it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm gonna beat this lobster boat. You're the qualified <laughs> captain here. <laughs> qualified captain moment. Like all my projects, these things just don't quite work right away. So we need to tweak the gears a little bit and try it again. So we fixed the gearboxes because I looked inside of them and let's just say they weren't put together all correctly. Let's just say they weren't engineered properly. <laughs> that looks great. made it to Miami, where it's much warmer and the water is kind of still dirty. Speaking of dirty, the internet is also a dirty place, and Surfshark, our sponsor for this video, will help you navigate through these dirty waters. I travel a lot, and I'm constantly using Wi-Fi at hotels, Airbnbs, and other sketchy locations. And what I don't want getting out is my personal data, especially passwords and bank account information. A virtual private network, or VPN, helps mask your data from thieves and prying eyes. Surfshark bites down on companies or criminals trying to steal your personal info. Surfshark is also a fantastic way of masking your location so you can access things you can't normally access in your home country. I'm in Costa Rica now. It's as easy as clicking on a different location in the app. This is also definitely one of the most affordable services I pay for because unlike some services, Surfshark actually allows you to use their VPN on multiple devices 
all at the same time with just one single low cost subscription. Surfshark is also very highly rated on the App Store. Check out the link in the description below or go to surfshark.deals slash people and get an extra three months for free. Surfshark also has a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can get your money back. Oh, man, quick. Huh, it's like Midnight Express, but just slightly different. Well, I hope you like that sick 80s montage. It's time to add all of the motors now. I think the gearbox broke on this one. A tooth got stripped or something. It turns out it was just a little screw that was loose, so we fixed that. Oops. I'm going to plug in all the motors and we're gonna do a full 12 motor test. All right, you ready? Now, we do have these 12 motors on, but maybe we could go to 14 or 15. I think we should consult some boat experts. So off to the Miami International Boat Show. This boat's only half as good as ours, right? I compare it. <laughs> Look how many rod holders it's got. Oh man, those rod holders. <laughs> We're at the boat show today to find out, is this too many upboards? Uh, how many inches do you have? I have 12 inches. Is that too many inches? The no, engine looks no like such George. thing is too many. Is 12 too many upboards? Yeah, no. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not at all. No. Johnson. You got the wrong motors on there for us to be in a video. Well, is this too many motors? Yeah, the lodge is perfect on there. Is this too many motors? <laughs> no, no it's to never too many. Oh, that's too many. No, it's never enough. Yeah, yeah I see no. gaps in there. No problem. Yeah, they'll go. Yeah, maybe too too many. No, no, <laughs> no. Is this too many outboards? I'll try to figure that. Never out. enough. Twelve a.m. quickie. No, not enough motors. Like never. I mean, that seems like it could be a little too many. <laughs> a little too many. No, no, never enough. I mean, you got room. <laughs> yeah, we, we do have room. There. Is that too many? No, definitely not. Pushing the limit, I think. All right. You can never have enough speed, right? Too many. The right number? Yes. Six. Unfortunately, the day was very inconclusive. I think the consensus was it is either the right amount or not enough motors. But I think it's a free swag. Time has come. Plug it in. I hear beeping. No, I just hear music. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> We're gonna need like sponsors on the sides to make it float so we can get this thing really going. So all it does is bury itself. We think it like this? That's the easiest way. Oh, at least know. gives it brilliance. buoyancy. Yeah, we'll attach these. I think it will do something. Oh, we'll anyway. try it. Screw it. Put it on there. Like this. Lock it in like that. With the zip tie. Ready? Yep. Pump it. Uh, nope, this not work. <laughs> This is clearly not working. <laughs> he can't steer. <laughs> it's really not looking so good for this configuration. I think we're gonna try just one more thing. Here, thank you very much. This will work excellently. All these outboards don't do anything. We found a novel solution. We bought toy boats. We're gonna attach them here. 
so we have more planing surface so the boat can hopefully go faster. Uh, all right, we have the upgrades, $3 boats. I feel like they should be actually a dollar. Maybe it's inflation, but whatever. So we're gonna try to run it again because I think it's gonna have a better chance. Okay, let's put this beast in the water. Yo, well, it's floating better. Yeah, you ready? Yes. <laughs> oh no! Ah! It's drowning! Here's the plan. I'm gonna gas it and then you're gonna shove it to try to get it on plane. Bubble blast. <laughs> <laughs> they always don't understand that. Yeah. <laughs> you idiot, you made it worse. <laughs> we got so much. Oh my god. That's why. Oh, I lost steering. Oh, I lost steering either, yeah. I think we've reached a verdict. If you extend them. Shut up! Hey, hey, hey. On, if you extend on. them past the transom, the outboards are very ineffective, even with small boats kind of playing it. I have no doubt in my mind that if we had a wide, fat transom boat where the boat was actually that wide, it would work just fine. I have some more ideas we can try as far as where to put the outboards, because I would like to see it go fast with just 12 outboards. <laughs> well, what are you doing? What are you doing? She ain't working. Too many outboards. We, ha we have too many outboards, so unfortunately, the outboards out here in this configuration are terrible. Adding more outboards to the transom of your boat does you no good if it's not behind the actual hull. So we're gonna get rid of these outboards and move them somewhere else. All right, Steven, what do you think? No bueno. It's not gonna work good? Nope. I think this is going to be fantastic because now the outboards are not sticking out and creating tons of drag. They're right behind the transom. So hopefully the boat can get on plane just fine. Oh, he's wired. He's got the monster. Oh yeah, it's a nightmare. Can you steer? I can't turn. Oh man, this is terrible. Oh, okay. <laughs> swim, go swim, go get it, go get it. We'll just point it where we want to go. I'm just going to punch it and right, see what happens. It. Oh yeah! <laughs> I don't think it's any faster. It seems just about as fast as it was with four motors. And now it's totally unsteerable. I can't, I can't steer it with this. So I think it's a little bit faster, maybe out of the hole, but on plane it doesn't go much quicker. I have some theories why. Mainly the prop wash coming off of here is turbulated. So these aren't really doing a whole lot as far as making it move any faster. But the boat does get on plane. I think this is looking pretty bad for the outboards. Adding more outboards to your boat that go past your transom, bad idea in both directions, in this way and that way. I think we have one more idea though. <laughs> the moment you, wait, not you all, the moment I've been waiting for, I'm going to just glue the outboards to the side of the boat and see what happens. So I think we'll put them right at water level here, maybe angle them up a little bit help get the boat out of the hole and on plane. It's either going to be the best or the worst. Behold, my master plan. <laughs> it's so stupid looking. How many outboards is too many outboards? We've got this one, this one, that one, that. This 12 outboards on this bad boy. Let's put it in the drink and see what happens. Oh yeah, that looks so cool. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> <laughs>
I think we've reached a conclusion. More outboards is not quite better. In fact, it's a little dangly. <laughs> Way better now, now that it's back to normal and the outboards are out gone. <laughs> just about killed any sort of configuration we could think of. The correct number of outboards is how many outboards you can fit on your actual transom. Don't go beyond the transom and you're good. If you like a lot of this stuff, the boat files I'll set up for free. The STLs for the boat outboards also for free because I just generally give that stuff away. All that stuff is down in the description below. You can check it out there and print them out for yourself. I wouldn't recommend you mixing your drinks with these, however. <laughs>